Tonight's film is a dramatization of a real-life incident based on personal interviews and published accounts. Names have been changed. Is that it? That's all, just the middle bag. That's it? That's everything, yep. You... Surprise! Surprise, Daddy. Hi, Dad. <laughs> Should have seen your face, Dad. <laughs> Daddy, are you all right? We didn't scare too much, did we? You scared the pants off of me. I told you it'd be mean. God, it's good to have you kids back home. Your mother. Great! She took a shopping and she even taught me how to cook. She remembered me, Daddy, and she hadn't even seen me since I was a baby. That's why she remembered you. You're still a baby. Hardy har har. Daddy, I'm gonna cook you mom's shrimp recipe. Won't that be great? Fabulous. I really missed you, kids. We missed you too, Daddy. Thanks for letting us visit her. Yeah, it was neat. Weird neat. Daddy, she was so nice. She invited me to spend the summer with her. Can I? We'll see. Sure is great to be home. Come on, dear. There's other books to read besides The Hobbit. Can't I please spend the summer with Mom? Your mother hasn't seen you for eight years. You spend just a weekend, and you want to spend the whole summer? Besides, we have to sail to the big city tomorrow. It's time for you to see Arthur Donist. Dad, Prince Rupert, British Columbia isn't a big city. And there's all that water to sail across. Can't you just tighten my braces? With pliers? What if I could? Come on down and eat when you feel like it. I've seen almost every game. Oh, wow. Wendy's got a boyfriend. Steve Jenkins, what a hunk. Wendy, come on, we're shoving off. Don't forget your homework. Let's get going. Hey, here, Dad, let me help you with that. I got it's a heavy. Should I get the liniment? It's just a twinge. Thank you, I've got it. The doctor warned him about lifting too much. His back and shoulders the way they are. And I'm the little boy. Hey, Bart! It's a little late to go fishing. Owner Prince Rupert. Taking the kids to the orthodontist. Safe trip!
Hoffman run. We need another hand. You interested? Uh, you bet I'm interested. Okay, talk to your papa. See you in a few days. You can start saving for your own fishing boat. <laughs> Nibbles, huh? No. I'm getting hungry, too. Ah, uh, maybe I'll give it a try. Dad, sometimes they just don't bite. Sorry. Dave asked me to crew them for the salmon run this summer. I'd like to. I'll think about it. Why not? What's the matter? dangerous. I don't know. We'll see. This wind holds. We'll be in Prince Rupert by noon tomorrow. Don't you think it's wonderful about wind, Daddy? Yes, of course. What is especially wonderful about when? I, uh, got asked at the senior prom. Don't you think it's the most romantic thing? Steve Jenkins, the best hockey player in the school. He has the maddest crush on her. They'll probably get married right after and have a big house and a boat. And I'll be an aunt, Aunt Krista. Marriage? Don't worry, Dad. I'm only 16. I'm not getting married. I'm not even going to go to the prom with him. I think you should go. Your mother was barely older. I just don't have the time. I mean, I want to win the French class scholarship and to buy fabric and sew a dress and Mother Krista all day. I just don't have the time. You don't have to mother me. I know I don't have to. You just demand it. I do not. Krista, you're shifted to Tiller. I have to read. You have read The Hobbit 103 times. It's so cold up there, Daddy. Chicken. Anybody who laughs gets it. You look really different. God, I knew it. I'm not going. It's good, different, beautiful. I wish you'd look at yourself in the mirror before you change. It's not me, Dad. Besides, it's too expensive. Such a beautiful young lady. You'll be married to some lucky fella soon. <laughs> married and gone. trips, a couple more visits ought to do it. Kids are growing up fast, Eddie. I hope you're noticing. Believe me, Doc, I'm noticing. Now, Wendy tells me that uh, your shoulders are acting up. You know, you ought to see a doctor regularly. Cold and wet's no good for it. There's no place colder and wetter than here. We love it here. The kids love it here. I have to admit, 
Krista's a bit of a city girl like her mom. Yeah, speaking of the... Uh, she called me yesterday. She what? She called you about what? She was curious about the kids' teeth. Wanted to know how often they visited and how much schoolwork they were missing. She even talked about coming to visit soon, seeing my records. Must have been some divorce. You tell her that the kids get their homework before we sail here. And tell her they're my kids. And that I'm a good dad. Billy, shoving off. But the sun's almost set. I got the weather report. We got 36 hours. I don't like that stretch of open ocean. You've sailed that open ocean all your life. Now, what if the wind shifts? We could be stuck here for days. I have to get you kids in school. Krista, the cinnamon buns are for Valentine's Day tomorrow. Eat them all, and serve them right. There was a boat for sale. Two or three summers crewing during the salmon run, and I'd have enough for a down payment. My own boat. Fishing for myself. I'm doing it this summer. Who's gonna do the heavy work? He can't with those shoulders. Not me, because I'm spending the summer with Mom. You're what? Oh, no, you're not. You guys, I win the French class scholarship, and you go. That's a loan. You might not win. It's only the summer. He thinks it'll be permanent. We're everything to him. If we just suddenly leave... It's your shift, Billy. What's up, kids? Nothing. Just a few swells. You'll be okay, sweetheart. We're moving too fast. I'm scared. That just means that we're gonna get home quicker. Excuse me, love. Slow moving storm. We have to find some shelter. We must be near Cape Chacon. See a light? Can I 
can't see. I can't see anything. Daddy, are we okay? Sales down, sweetheart. We just have to ride this out. You'll be okay. Daddy, I really want to spend the summer with Mama. Krista, don't start. Start what? We've just been talking about summer. I'm gonna crew with Dave, Dad. You are, huh? Do you want to spend the summer with your mother? You're gonna win that scholarship. You're gonna be in France. At least I won't be getting married. You are growing up. Maybe you want to leave the nest. When an eaglet leaves the nest, it's because the old eagle has pushed you out. I don't want to push you out. You guys are everything.
No, not yet. I'm gonna go look, okay? glasses and sweatpants. Where's Dad? Can you see him? No. No. We're gonna find Dad right now, though, okay? Okay. We'll be right back, okay? Krista? She's good. You're gonna be all right, Dad. Hit the rock. I managed to climb up here. Oh, my foot! Oh, I think it's frozen. Here, lean on us, Dad. Lean on us. No, no, I think I can make it. And the sail? A 
this sweater? Netting? An oar? Two full pads from the bunks? Billy, the fuel can! We've got the fuel can, we can build a fire! Where are we? Facing south, I think. through the neck hole. Maybe you'll start a fashion trend. Billy knows where we are. Yeah, from that point, you can see Cape Muzon Light across the Kaigani Strait. You were right, Dad. We're on course for home. That's about 20 miles from Mike and Barbara's cabin. We'll build a raft, we'll leave with the tide. The kids will be home in two or three days. Yeah, except there's nothing around here to build a raft out of. No, we'll find something. Plenty of things to us to shore. Our fuel and matches to keep the fire going. Good morning, Dad. Good morning. That help. Don't eat that snow. It'll only lower your body temperature more. Use that sink. Melt it. Sister around the point, we have to find a decent camp. Wendy and I'll walk the beach. We'll catch up with you in about two hours. Okay, Dad. Geiger, you gotta go with your brother. I don't see why we have to go any place. Why can't we just wait here till we're rescued? Sweetheart, no one is going to rescue us. For all they know, we're still in Prince Rupert, waiting for the weather to clear. There's no wood, there's no food, we're in a direct wind. And there's no logs to make a raft. What if I get knocked out of the boat? I can't see where to swim. I can't see, Daddy. Tiger, I know how you're afraid of the water. But without your glasses, you can't see to climb over those rocks. I promise you. From now on, we'll stay together. Okay? Krista. Gotta go, Dad.
can't go on. It's my feet. Dad, we can't stay separated. It's getting dark. I'm gonna find a shortcut. Okay, Krista, come on. We're past the rocks now. We'll be all right. We'll be all right. It's a little smoother out here. Daddy's right up around this next corner. I want you to. I want you to take my clothes and my. And I want you to take my boots. Promise? You're not gonna die. I know you're not gonna die. I won't let you die. Tastes better dipped in butter. Mm, followed by roast beef and hot apple pie. Well, at least it's something. Billy! Fire going. We'll carry him again. It's gonna be okay. <laughs> oh. Wendy, yeah. Wendy. My feet froze last night. You're the only healthy one left. Mm 
gotta eat, Dad. I don't think I could hold it down. You eat. And then we'll build a raft. We don't have time to build a raft. Then tell him. He won't listen. He can't unless you tell him. Dad, you know, I don't think we really need to build a raft. I can paddle the dinghy to Mike and Barbara's cabin by myself. And even if they aren't there, I can use their radio to get help. Paddle 20 miles alone. I'm healthy, Dad. Or Wendy and I could go together. By the time we chop out enough logs to build a raft, we could be rescued. It's too far and it's too risky. Dad! Dad promised we're sticking together, and we're sticking together from now on. Krista, you don't know what you're talking about. I'm talking about you guys leaving us here to die. Krista! That's enough. Nobody's leaving and nobody's dying. We're gonna stick together. We're gonna make a raft. Serve your energy, son. We'll tackle this tomorrow when you're stronger. I'm okay. All we need are a couple logs. Put the dinghy in the middle. Plywood on the back. Wow, this is a hell of a raft, son. Yeah. Come on, Tide. That's as high as that tide's gonna get. Krista, bring the sail! Come on, Tiger! Tide only comes in every 12 hours. We're going home. I think we'll be rescued here. Daddy's hungry. Don't you want to make Mommy's favorite recipe for Daddy? I can't wait to eat it. Please, sweetheart. That's a good girl.
Dad, maybe the raft wasn't such a bad idea. You're eating. I think I can hold them down now. Excellent clams. Krista, don't eat the snow. They're salty and yucky. Well, then otherwise you're gonna get chilled. I'm chilled already. I need some real food. You know what? I'm thinking, when we get back, I'm probably going to go to that senior prom, too. <laughs> what? What's so funny? <laughs> you go to a dance? What, are you going to wear your shoulder pads and helmet, too? Aha. Uh -huh. We're ready. <laughs> Let's just let the girls know I'm available, and you just watch the stampede. <laughs> <laughs> We're laughing. It's not funny. <laughs> Why can't the tide be right right now? Hey, it's Granny's birthday today. Oh, let's send her a postcard. No, we call her every birthday. And when we don't call this time, she'll call us. And when she doesn't get us, she'll keep on trying and then she'll get worried. And she'll call neighbors, police. They'll call the Coast Guard. We'll be rescued. You're getting really delirious now. Kids, why don't you get a move on it? Tide's coming in. Why don't you go find some of those delicious clams to take on the trip? You go help Billy this time. Yeah, come on. It's warm. You can help once. It's OK, Krista. She can't see without her glasses. Daddy's little baby waiting to be waited on. <laughs> What? Wendy! Oh. 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 Take a boot off. Oh, God, it hurts so much, Daddy. Oh. 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 Up there where the channel's wider with two islands, that's Rose Inlet. Tide's turning against us! Harder! Battle girls! Harder! Battle! Go! 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 Battle, Wendy! Come on! Harder! I'm trying! Tide's turned against us! We'll try tomorrow! Forget it!
deep dive. Save your strength. When we get home, I'm gonna cook your mama's shrimp recipe. Because you're such a good daddy. Smashed up pretty bad. We're gonna have to fix it and then wait for high tide to refloat it. Twelve hours? I don't think the girls can last that long. All right, then I'll unlash the dinghy and paddle to Mike and Barbara's cabin by myself. I can have help here before dark. It's a pretty stiff wind. We might not make it. <coughs> <coughs> Together we could. Together? You promised Crystal we'd stick together. She's gonna say we're leaving her behind to die again. Start untying. You said we wouldn't split up, Dad. You promised. I know what I said, but with this wind and the tide, there's no way that raft is going into the water today. Billy and I have to go for help. We'll be back in about three hours, I think. You said that the last time we split up. You and Wendy were gone all night. You almost died. You told me we were a family. We have to stick together. I know what I said. We are a family. And we will stick together. Just as soon as Billy and I get back with help. I'm worried we're gonna die. It's that simple. We won't die, Dad. I won't. And Wendy won't either. Will you? Crystal, I'm your father. And I have to make decisions for this family that I think are best. And it's best that Billy and I go and get help now. Take care of her. We'll be back in about three hours. Those two islands? That's not Rose Inlet. It's not? There's two more islands about five miles up. That's Rose Inlet. Five miles? Five miles? Can you make it? Yeah, yeah, I can make it. 
Should we go back and tell him? Against the tide? We'd lose all our strength trying to reach him. Where are you going? To clear the snow off. They'll be back soon. It's warmer with you here. Let go of me, Krista. It's been three hours, hasn't it? I didn't wind my watch, okay? They'll be back soon. good or bad. Good for now, I guess. Have you ever wondered if you were born into the right family? Face it, you're one of us. We were all born with the same goofy teeth. What was it like when we lived with Dad and Mom? Different. Was it nice? I remember all of us going camping in one big tent and going fishing. It was nice, wasn't it? You've read too many fantasies and fairy tales. It happened. I'm not dreaming. It happened once. Mom wasn't exactly crazy about camping, fishing, the water, Alaska, all the things that Dad loves. No wonder I liked her. Right family. <laughs> Wrong family. <laughs>
There's nobody here! Son, there's a fire. It's ready to be lit. Find that radio, son. Billy, I found the radio. Bring that car badly, would you? Dad, what's wrong? It's black, red, positive. Negative. Damn it, I've done this a hundred times. Red is danger. Red's negative. No, black. Black. I, th I think black is negative. You sure? I don't think so. God, Dad! It's blown the radio. <clears throat> I can fix it. I can fix it. They are out there on the beach. Be Don't you think I know they're out there on the beach? in it, Wendy. Wendy, don't eat snow. Daddy said. See, we salty. But the snow will cool you. It'll be back soon, Krista. And white stuff with worms in it. Dad, look. Maybe there's a boat.
crutches. Not bad, huh? Can we try it? This ball should fix it. It should work. Mayday. Mayday. Two children stranded on the north base, Keg Point, Kagani Strait. I don't know how much longer they can hold on. Mayday, can anyone hear? Mayday. Mayday. You sure it's transmitting? How can I be sure? Well, what's the range of these things? Two miles. Less than bad weather. It's about to the strain. You think there could be anybody out there? There's 40 channels, Dad. Come on. Anybody hear this radio? Mayday, Mayday, can anybody hear this radio? Mayday, Mayday, can anyone hear me? Mayday, Mayday, can anyone hear this radio? lost your glasses. You have to come in, Wendy! Smell. Red snapper with peas fresh from the pot. Mm. Oh, the steam feels so good. Mm. Wendy, please! You'll die! Do you remember when Dad and Mom split up? Do you remember what you said? They're both right here at the table. There's no table, Wendy! There's water! And I hate water! Why do you have to be such a baby? When Dad and Mom split up, you promised you'd take care of me, and you're not. You have to take care of me, Wendy! Under here! Mayday, Mayday, can anyone hear this radio? Mayday, Mayday, can anyone hear me? Mayday. What are you doing? Well, the feet are black. They're dead. We have to cut those parts away prevent infection from the parts that are living. Otherwise, son, uh, it could kill us. Billy, it won't hurt any more than it does right now. The skin is dead. Dead? If this radio doesn't work, we have to get back to Wendy and Krista ourselves. We need to be able to walk. It doesn't really matter, son. We can't walk anyway. Keep trying. Talking in your sleep last night. Wendy, talk to me, please. 
Wendy. Why don't you like me? I do. I... We're just different, that's all. Wendy. Let me sleep. No. This is important to me. I mean, we're sisters, right? So what if we're not alike? I don't even want us to be alike. I just want us to be friends. I've just always had to mother you. It's such a pain. Daddy's fragile little baby. Maybe I don't need a mother so much anymore. I'm nearly 13. Maybe I'm not such a pain anymore. Then let me sleep. No. You're being a pain. Mayday. Mayday. Can anyone hear this? Clothes still out in the snow? Weather's too bad for a rescue plane or a chopper to spot him. Just draining the battery. I'm using a radio that no one's hearing. For all we know, it doesn't even work. We're sitting here by the fireplace, eating food and sleeping. We gotta get back there, son. Somehow, we've got to get back there. That would be suicide. Neither one of us can even walk across the room. We don't have a boat. The wind's up again. And if we didn't die before we reached them, then what? Huh? What good does it do us to crawl out there on the beach and die with them? I'm not a coward, Dad. If we could do anything... I, I know. I know you're not a coward, son. But there's still time to get help for them. For how long? They're freezing! Somebody's got to hear that radio. It's getting dark. There are no boats in the strait at night. we got to save the battery. We'll call first thing in the morning. Just listen to me, son. I know that it doesn't do any good to tell you not to think about them because that's what I tell myself. Because I think about them all the time. But we did everything we could to help them to survive, to help us survive. And we're going to go on doing everything possible. Because they're not finished yet. We both know that. Billy, don't leave us, please. It's so cold. Let me stop it. Stop it, wake up. He was out there with a 
fire. Billy was out there with Dad. Oh, the fire was so warm. You're scaring me. Every time you dream, you have to stop. I just want to dream and stay warm and not wake up. No. I'm not letting you sleep. Krista. You promise me you won't die. Krista. Cross your heart. Mayday. Mayday. Two children stranded. Anything? Living on that beach a week. You know, when you and your sisters were barely able to walk, I, I took you to the beach. You and Wendy took to the water like dolphins, laughing. Krista, the water was like it. Like it burned her. She was so tiny, fragile. Never been much of a man for church. Doors were always my churches. Never been much of a man for prayer. The clothes blew away, Dad. Why did Daddy and Mommy divorce? Krista. Don't go to sleep. I want to know. They argued about everything. Dad's so stubborn. Mom was just as bad. Like, what did they argue about? Like, where to live. Mom thought Alaska was too rough. Why didn't we listen to her? Billy and I wanted to stay here. What about me? Nobody asked me. I asked you. You said we had to stay together. You kept us together just like now. I would have died out there. I said I'd take care of you. I miss my mama. Why should Dad be scared if I stay with her? He's afraid of losing us all. Or his life. He'd never lose me. I love him. I know he's coming back. Let's just sleep a little. I don't think we should. No! 
It's okay, you're awake. Billy, are you okay? What's the temperature? Hmm? Temperature. They can't make it. Oh, they're two of the toughest girls. It's 15 degrees, Dad. Twenty days since we lost the boat. Ten days since we left them on the beach. They're dead. Because we didn't do everything we could have for them. I could have taken the dinghy with Wendy at the very start. We would have gotten help. We would have made it. But you wouldn't listen. You never listen. You wouldn't listen when I said don't sail from Prince Rupert? And now they're dead. Are you telling me that you could have paddled all the way here, even with Wendy? After everything that we went through to get here? Mike and Barbara would have been here then, Dad. We wasted 10 days. We had to stay together as long as we could. And when we left Prince Rupert, the weather report was for 36 hours. We had to leave then. I should have just gone by myself. And the radio. <laughs> I knew Black was negative, but I let you decide when I knew. The radio's probably been broken all this time. Talking to ourselves. You've been right all this time, Dad. I am a little boy. If I'd have just done or said something. Now they're dead. Billy. Listen to me, son. You never listen to me again. You're feeling guilty now. But what if you disobeyed me? You had come here alone and found three dead bodies out there. That was my decision. They were all my decisions. And I'm at fault, son, not you. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe I've been wrong about everything. But I wanted all of us to live. I did the best I could. Can't you understand that? We killed them, Dad. What are you saying? That I abandoned my daughter so that I could live? How did I know no one would be here? No boat, no radio contact. They were dying. We came here to help them. I just don't see how we're supposed to go on living now. Well, we are. We did the very best we could, son. very best.
Won't be long now. Either Mike and Barbara will be back or the Coast Guard will show up. Which do you think will happen first? Look out. Spring. Yeah. Come quickly. All right, take it out of here. What for? Let's just wait. Wait for what? Come on. We're going to find everything we can to patch her up. Is this all the epoxy you could find? Needs heat to harden. This isn't hardening. It's all I could find. I told you. Sorry. We'll do the best we can. Hand me the patch. I'm just glad to be doing something. Sun's coming up. Food's all loaded. Listen. Dear Mike and Barbara, we lost our boat in a blow on February 14th. Arrived here on the 24th in bad shape. Leaving today, March 10th, as we need medical attention for frozen feet. And bring back your old skiff, clothes, etc., and replace your groceries as soon as we can move around. I may have ruined your CB. If so, have it repaired, and I'll pay the bill. Eddie Barton and children. You mind? Dad. We're almost there, son. I want to bring him home. Why don't you try and fix the leaks in the boat? Dad? Dad? Thanks.
girls. Going home. Wendy. Chris has moved in so long. She say they just moved. Billy! Some water! Some food! Sweetheart, it's daddy. You're alive, tiger. We're going home. Daddy, can I cook you on this recipe now? Oh, sweetheart. Sweetheart, you, you can cook on this recipe anytime you want. You're alive. How? She saved my life. Friends now. Sure was a long three hours, Dad. I know. I know, baby. But I lost both of you. Strong enough to take us home, son? Oh, you bet, Dad. Daddy, do I have to go in the water again? Honey. Hmm? Daddy will protect you this time. Cross my heart. Cross my heart. The Coast Guard rescue team found us at the cabin the next day and airlifted us to a hospital at Ketchikan. We stayed for weeks. Wendy and I had portions of our feet amputated. Krista was treated for starvation. Billy suffered only minor injuries. That summer, Wendy studied in France on a scholarship she had won. Billy lived on a fishing boat working the salmon run. Krista? Well, Krista stayed with her mama, and I was scared. With all that those kids had endured for 24 hellish days, I feared they had left Alaska and me for good. I was wrong again, thank God. Billy, Wendy, even Krista, they all came home. We were a family, and we had stuck together after all.